how fast is the us uh, welcoming players across the world due to the prevailing pandemic situation is it really possible for our players say in subcontinent to succeed through all the procedure and policies to acquire admission via sports scholarships during this pandemic time that we are sadly into right now thank you. yeah like like you said it's a very difficult time uh, there's been a lot of changes <clears throat> particularly over the last year and and changes that continue to happen uh, it's always a little difficult to look into the crystal ball of the future uh, but I, I do think that you know programs are making a lot of efforts to continue on with the seasons to continue on with the um, academic services they offer, right? Um, and it is changing, right? Last year, a lot of things were shut down. The year before that, you know, they had a little bit of shortened seasons and things. So this year, I, I think the, the institutions are understanding that if they want to continue to operate as institutions, they need to be open to a certain degree, right? They need to offer services, online classes, just they don't, they don't, they are not the same for certain students. So I think the the leaderships of, of, of academic uh, institutions in general, let alone sport, let alone the, uh, the, the athletic side, are seeing the need to open up uh, their institutions. Now, as you come over, uh, you know, from another country, obviously there's certain protocols, you know, certain tests, obviously you have to test uh, you know, negative for. So there's certain pieces like that uh, as we, discussed, you know, division one, two, and three, the, the fundings of the programs are also going to help to keep the program open or not. You know, a division three program, they may not keep, uh, I should say, lower level division uh, three, so like the MITs, the Caltechs, the Carnegie Mellons, <clears throat> the, the, the top schools, they may be more open to having athletic seasons uh, easier. So uh, that's a big piece. I do think that as we come into next year, things will be more open because of the necessity, right? Academic institutions, they need to be open to function. Uh, and so I think there, there's that element that really plays into it. So I I would be concerned, obviously, uh, as parents, you don't wanna send your, your children overseas, right? To some place that they've never been before. Uh, but I do think that we'll get back to a certain level of protection, obviously with protocols, but there's gonna be a need for schools to be open and to function. Uh, so I would keep an open mind to that, uh, particularly as you're thinking about recruiting a year, two or three years ahead of time, uh, things will be changing. Okay, great, great inputs on, I, I think that it's obviously a difficult time. So this question has been propped up in that. Harsh, would you like to give some inputs on this? Uh, the prevailing time for the subcontinent part of the world who are aspiring to join that difficult college tennis league. Yeah, I think the best thing players can continue to do is continue to work on their game and keep improving. And, uh, you know, I think that the, from a requirement standpoint, what college coaches are looking for is top talent. They're looking to, you know, find players that can come into the program and contribute to the program, play in their top six uh, and, and be successful and help the program get to the next level. So players, uh, you know, through this time need to keep doing their best. And uh, one of the things that I think the pandemic potentially creates a challenge is, you know, uh, there aren't as many tournaments going on, uh, both nationally, internationally, it's become complex to compete in junior tournaments. Sure. So, um, you know, what, what used to be a very robust system and coaches were able to track performance and gauge a player's level, that may become a little more challenging for players to showcase their performance. So, so maybe, uh, you know, in training, making sure you're, you're uh, demonstrating your skills to the coaches, you're being proactive with your videos, uh, reaching out to coaches, making sure they're watching you play, maybe doing some practice matches, sharing those videos with coaches. So anything you can do to demonstrate your skill level, your, you know, I think that uh, is, uh, is key in, now in, in this pandemic situation. Okay, great.